get their final word in. Yawn from Priestley. He'll have to wake, awaken quickly. Here's the Harborview lineup. Glenor Samuel in goal. A back four of Orderland Harding, Romain Brackenridge, Garth Stewart, and Akima Jones. Jashon Anglin, Kasim Priestley, and Demar Rose in the middle of the park. Up top, Rohan Brown, Andre Fagan, and David Reed, who has really come of age and scored in the last encounter. They're coached by Ludla Bernard. Quick look at Mount Pleasant's starting lineup. Shaquan Davis, the favored goalkeeper, he starts. They have a back four Fitzroy Cummins, Jamoy Topi, Suley McCullough, who had the extra time win against Malayan, Shaquille Dyer, Demario Phillips, Romeo Guthrie, and Nathaniel James, the man from Trinidad and Tobago in the middle of the park. Daniel Green, Devontae Campbell, and Shaquille Bradford up top. Of course, Devontae Campbell out wide, always having tricks and flair and speed. Shaquille Bradford having great goals, still in ninth position, looking for hope for the top six. How about you won? Mount Pleasant 2, Ray Neffer, Jamaica Premier League action. Christopher Mason set this one going. The late kickoff on the Monday Night Football. Early in the encounter, Joshon Anglin to Demar Rose to the back of the net. First goal of the encounter for Demar Rose. And what a pass that was from Joshon Anglin. Showed his quality. Two minutes in. They would have broken the deadlock, Harborview. Good quality being shown. Composure from Demar Rose. Certainly not one known for goal scoring exploits, but quality is quality. Shaquille Bradford darting forward. Got it to Guthrie. First time touch to Daniel Green. He fired first time. Saved initially, but into the business area. And Devontae Campbell, after Shaquille Bradford had missed kick, he was able to finish Devontae Campbell, the number seven. His second of the encounter of the season, Devontae Campbell. Beaten at the near post. They would come again. Devontae Campbell in the thick of things. Going, darting forward. Akima Jones left behind. And the penalty was converted coolly by Shaquille Bradford against his old team. At the start of the transfer window, he was a Harborview player. But Waterhouse, the parent, the owner for him, would have sent, sold him to Mount Pleasant. In the first half, another ball across the Harborview line, but it was handled by Saleh McCullough. Devontae Campbell again, darting down the by line and sent it across. And Bradford at the end of that one, but he was offside. Second half action now. Easily handled in the end after the danger was shown. Devontae Campbell, so many great moments for him. Releasing McCullough. And that one at the near post was a palmed away, was played away by Glenroy Samuel. Sully McCullough trying the overhead kick there. And another attempt, courtesy of Kimoni Bailey. That went over the top. Christopher Mason had seen enough. Here are the full-time math statistics. Harborview, only one shot on target from three attempts, four from six for Mount Pleasant. Some 25 fouls in this encounter. And it produced 10 yellow cards, six of them to Harborview. No red cards. Four offsides, three to Harborview, one corner to Mount Pleasant, two saves made by Glenroy Samuel. Mount Pleasant with the lion's share of the possession, 53%, and the majority of goals, two to one in favor of Mount Pleasant. We stand by for the interview with the man of the match. Devonte back into the starting lineup with a goal, earning the team a penalty. How do you feel about your performance overall? Well, I feel I feel very proud um, for my performance. You know, I was I was away for a, a while, you know, and and to come back and get a goal and winning the penalty, you know, it's I couldn't ask for a, for a better start. Tell me about that experience as well. Not many local based players have nef necessarily had the opportunity to explore their trade in England at Charlton Athletic yourself. What was that trial like? 
uh, well, it was it was it was a good opportunity, and I, I just I just knew that I had to go and 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 grab that opportunity with with, with both with both hands, and and I just went there and and did my best, you know. And t talk to me about playing in another culture. What was it like exploring football in England? Well, it was it's it's much different, you know. It, they, they have better surfaces, and and you know the 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 pass the ball a lot um, quicker. A, a lot faster, you know, so you, you, you have to be technically good because, you know, they, they, they mostly focus on, on technique, so you, you have to be technically good, yeah. And I'm sure they enjoyed your speed as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did. <laughs> All right, talk to me. You, you came off a little bit early as well. Um, how is the leg? How is the left leg? Not uh, a serious injury? Well I, well, I hope not, you know. We're just, we just going to um, go back and, and assess it and, and see what's, what's it. Being back into the starting lineup, I know that was a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit frustrating for you throughout the season. Um, how important is it you to get regular playing time in the starting eleven? Um, well, it's it's very important because I I, um, I know my quality and the, the coaches know my quality as well. So so you know the the more game time I I, I get, um, I can create more. I can I can help the team more, and I can hopefully get more goals and assists. Continue to enjoy your play, Devante. Rest up that left leg. We hope you return well for next week. Um, second goal of the season. Congrats again. All right. Thanks. Devante Campbell there. Play of the